Welcome to a DIY desktop organizer tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 office. And today I'm going to show you how to take some paper sheets and our new metal handle embellishments and a few roses and turn it into this gorgeous desktop organizer. This is great for storing your ephemera cards or photos like we have here, but you could store uh, ribbons or candy or all sorts of goodies here and for your craft room or for any uh, house or any room in your house rather. This would also be a super fun gift idea and it's simple to create. So um, we are excited to teach you this. This has been created for us for our club G45 volume 4 2021 this month and it's been created for us by Maria Cole. Maria this month has also created this gorgeous shadow box as well as a wallet album that fits perfectly inside. You can find the, tutor the tutorials for each of these projects in the description below as well if you want to create all three of these gorgeous bird watcher projects. And of course, if you're not already a Club G45 subscriber, you can do that by hopping on over to our website, g45papers.com, where you can pick up this kit or become a subscriber where you get a kit like this sent directly to you in the mail every month. Um, otherwise, of course, you can just pick up your supplies, um, some paper and embellishments and create along with us and just enjoy the process. So let's go ahead and get started creating this beautiful storage box. Let's get started making this super cute desktop organizer. So our first step is going to be to locate two sheets of our best friends. And we're gonna cut these down to be nine inches by nine inches. Then we are gonna score them both at three inches and six inches both horizontally and vertically. So just rotate and score again at three and six. And then you'll do the same with the second sheet. Once those are scored, just go ahead and fold on all those score lines on both sheets. Next, we are gonna cut out the center left and right hand squares. So I'm just using some fine tip scissors to do this. Of course, you could use a paper trimmer if you'd rather. Next, we're gonna take our two small handles from our new metal handle set with two or four of those brads. And then we are gonna mark where we want our handle to go. So I'm putting my handle down in my top center square. That's gonna be the front of my box. And I'm just using, I'm using a gold pen, but you could use a pencil or anything to mark where we're gonna be piercing our holes. I'm just gonna take my foam adhesive and actually just flip it over and use that kind of as a foam board. And I have doubled up my pieces. So maybe I'll even just use a little bit of washi so they stay in place, making sure that they're perfectly aligned with each other. That way I only had to mark one of those. And we can go ahead and now punch our holes through both those sheets. And I used a paper piercer to do that, but if you have, um, um, a needle you could use that as well or anything that can kind of help you guide in that brad next we are going to add our handle on to 
our front. So I just added some adhesive onto the back. That way it'll just be a little bit stronger of a hold. And then I'm going to take my brads. and put those right through those holes that we created earlier. So I've got one brad in. And then just open up those prongs on the other side and then add in that second brad. So we end up with our handles looking like this. Now let's put our box together. So I'm going to add adhesive to one panel here. And then once I put it together, this middle square is going to be the bottom of our box. And these two just come together nice and easy, aligning them and then And then you'll do the same with the other one. So just putting adhesive on one of those flaps. Fold together. And there you have it, an easy peasy box. So cute. And then you'll do the same with the other where you end up with two cute little square boxes. Step four, we're taking a feather your nest and we've cut this to be seven inches by 10 inches. If you're following along with the project sheet, I'm gonna veer off for a second because I'm gonna add some extra layers to our box to make it a little more dimensional. Of course, you can just keep going with the project sheet and omit, omit these, this step, but I'm also gonna take the cover um, of our paper pad and cut it down to be seven inches by 10 inches. And then I'm going to take this paper flock together, which is um, a leftover piece from our kit and cut it also down to be seven by 10 inches. And then we are gonna take this paper and score it horizontally from the bottom at three and a half inches. So I just made sure that that's the bottom of my paper. And if you are adding some more strength to your box, you'll just do the same with your other pieces as well. And then go ahead and score your paper. If you're doing the other pieces, score those as well. If you are following along with more strength, um, we are going to now adhere all three of these together. So we'll have the stripes on the outside on the back, we'll have our strengthy cover in the middle, and we'll have our feathers uh, front and center. So the stripes have been adhered to the cover, and now feathers have been added. So we've got our three layers, and it's nice and sturdy. You can see, because I've layered them all together, they're not as even as I want them to be, so I'm just gonna trim that off. Now we're going to adhere our boxes onto the bottom flap and then have the back wall adhere as well. So just kind of playing with my placement. So I've added adhesive to the bottom and the back side opposite from my handle. And I'm only adhering one box at a time, but while I can still move this one around. I'm just going to make sure I like my placement and that it's even with my second box once I have that adhered. And then once you like your placement, you can go ahead and burnish that down, making sure you're getting a really good connection with your back wall and your bottom.
now will adhere the other one. So for this one, I'm going to add adhesive to my uh, left-hand side, bottom and back. So now that adhesive has been added to the bottom left and back, we can go ahead and adhere this cube square down next to our other one. And if you see there's any weak spots, like maybe you didn't get enough adhesive on the bottom of your box like I did right there, you can just go in and with the liquid adhesive and give it another touch up. But this organizer is looking super cute and it is nice and sturdy. And then from your uh, leftovers from your other projects, we have some cut aparts. So we've already done our box and our album and we've got these cut aparts left over. Um, so from Learn to Fly, we have this pink floral and Look Up. And then from our Look Up paper, we have this Birds of a Feather. And then we're going to adhere our pink floral cut apart down. So we don't want adhesive on about the top inch on the back side, but on the bottom we do. And this is going to adhere on our back splash of our organizer, about a quarter of an inch leaving from the boxes. Now we're gonna just do a little bit of decorating. So taking this cute little oval bird chipboard and let's look for the bird sticker. I've added some foam adhesive on the back of that one. And then we're gonna take some of our leftover pink flowers from our shadow box. And this, we're gonna kind of just play with the arrangement. We want our oval to be towards the center of our cut apart on the right hand side and we want to leave enough room where we can adhere down these flowers so just kind of playing with your embellishments before we add any adhesive but i'm liking the placement of this so now we can go ahead and adhere things down so just adding adhesive to our flowers And then we will add adhesive to our chipboard oval. Leaving that stem down really helps making sure that that bud's not gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. And now we can take off the backing on our foam adhesive and this cute little guy is just gonna go in the left hand corner like so so there you have it we're all decorated with our diy uh, desktop organizer you can see there's lots of space you could put in ribbons here you can put um, your extra ephemera cards or cut aparts to organize things you could put in your extra chipboard um, the options are really endless you could store candy in here you could make some of these for different holidays, which would be super cute, and uh, put in holiday candy and have them out or give them as gifts. So we love, love this clever idea, and it's a great way to use up your leftovers from a big project. So big thanks to Maria for creating this tutorial for us. We can't wait to see what you've created along with us. So go ahead and share your projects on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag 
or join us on our Facebook community page and share your photos there. But if you're looking for more great tutorials like this every month, you're going to want to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell. So you are alerted every time we share fun and fabulous tutorials like these. So again, thank you for joining us. And as always, happy paper crafting.